Hey everybody, Cousin Jim. I'm out here on Huntington Pier in Huntington Beach, California. I just met this fella here. He doesn't want to be on camera, but he's going to let me show you his rig. So what we got going down there is we've got a, a pyramid type sinker with a very small, probably a number one size hook with a whole bunch of, uh, of um, clams put onto it. So he's here fishing for croakers. If you take a look at this, you can see we're, we're in maybe three or four feet of water here. We're inside the break. See the people surfing out here. We're inside the break. The sand crabs, sand crabs work wonderfully. You can see we're inside the break here. We got surfers out here. Huntington Beach is Surf City, USA. There's lots of surfers here, but there's also lots of fishermen. So we got a couple of lines going down into the water. It's running braid line. Looks like it's probably about a 20 pound braid. We're looking to catch a 10 pound croaker. Uh, they're spot fin croakers or corvinas. And there's something that people don't know. We have the Salton Sea out in the middle of the desert, which is a salt lake, and it has corvina in it also. And so they're great fish. They're great eating fish, fun to catch. I'm gonna walk down the pier and see if we can find some more. Hey everybody, Cousin Jim here. I just found something that's very interesting here at the pier. Everybody's having their rod sit over the edge of the rail with their drag set really loose. But check out this box that's built to hold the rods. I've never seen anything like this. These guys fish all the different piers. This box fits many different railing systems. But check that out. They're, they're fishing for uh, croakers or corvina here. They're just outside of the surf break. You can see how the sand is turned up. The water's not real clear. That's what these fish like. Hopefully, they get something. You can see they're using all different weight gear from probably, this looks like it might be a six to eight pound rig, all the way up to something that could handle 20 pounds. But, but it's, they're ready. They've got this whole pier lined up with their rods. We're gonna hang out and maybe see them catch something. But, but that rod holder is something new. I've never seen it. And uh, these guys, they didn't come up with the idea. They copied somebody's. But man, I'm gonna have to make some of those for when I'm fishing in Florida. All right, Alex just caught a little bait. He's got a jack smelt. He's using a sabiki rig there. Looks like he's got two to three ounces on the bottom of it. So we're putting a live jack smelt out for bait. And is a corvina gonna pick that guy up too? Uh, all of it, all of it. Halibut, okay. Very, very good. Oh, I see, so, so he cast the line out with the weight on the end, probably about three ounces, and then just clipped the snap swivel over the line and sent the fish down to the water. That's pretty interesting. And then that will let that fish swim freely and not be anchored to the bottom in one spot. That's pretty sweet. So we can see the fishermen are right here. We've got the surfers right down here in the water. Out here we've got a lot of the cargo ships and a couple of oil rigs. We do have oil off the coast of California. I wish I had a rig. Hey, Cousin Jim here. I'm with Dominic and Anthony. They're out here fishing on the pier. Anthony said this is his first time ever fishing on the pier. So he's in for a treat. These guys are getting set up just like the guys I just saw down the, the pier. They've got their sabiki, so they're gonna probably tip it with some kind of little fish or squid or something. Here. Okay, he's got, oh, he's got mackerel for bait here, so they're gonna put little tips on there and hopefully pick up some jack smelt or some perch or something, and then they'll put that jack smelt down as bait and hopefully pick up a big halibut or a big croaker. There you go. That's what we're looking for today. We're just out here having fun. 
So this looks like almost brand new gear. Did you just buy these rods? Uh, it's got a little bit of use on it, but I'm a new fisherman, yeah. Okay, so he's a new fisherman. And so the rods that we've got here, it says catch fish. They're made by Shakespeare. Yeah, it's the uh, $30 special at uh, Big Five. $30 special at Big Five. Well, that's that's one of the things. I just did a, a video in Florida called uh, Bridge Fishing on a Budget. Nice. And, yeah. and so the guy, people were there with their $30 Walmart rod and, <laughs> and and catching some grunts and stuff. So a $30 rod, rod reel and line combo. Then he's going to have a couple of bucks in his sabiki. He's going to have a couple of bucks in bait and probably $10 in lures and stuff tucked in over there because every fisherman needs lots of stuff. Let's use the uh, 3-8 ounce right here. Yeah. So they're going to use 3 8 ounce. Uh, the guys down the pier are using 3 ounces to hold their um, jack smelts down. So that's what's going on. So these guys are just getting set up. Don't even have a rod in the water yet. But they're going to catch something, and I'm going to I'm going to walk out to the end of the pier, and I'm going to come back and check on Dominic and Alex and see what they've caught. All right, cousin Jim here. I just ran into Ron. He's out here trying to catch sardines. He's he's jigging away. He's got a sabiki down there. When I was walking up, he pulled up a mackerel, little teeny mackerel, but it wasn't what he wanted, so he just let it go. And I didn't have the camera on for that, but we're going to see. Hopefully that school of sardines comes back around because they're here somewhere and he'll get back in them. There's a sabiki rig, looks like about, what, two ounces of weight maybe? One ounce weight. One ounce weight. Number 12 hooks. Number 12 hooks and he's just jigging away. Do you fish out here a lot? Oh, you would have been like to have been on the boat with us this weekend. We had 50 pound sea bass that wouldn't stop biting under us. I would have loved to have been on the boat with you this weekend. We left them biting. I hate leaving fish when you're on the boat. When, when I had my boat here in, in California, I fished for Makos a lot. Yeah. Yeah, but... We call that glorified catfishing. <laughs> <laughs> glorified catfishing. It was fun. I never, I never took the big equipment, always just like a pen jig master or something oh, you know yeah. so keep it sporty yeah my 65 pound dolphin i caught him on a 20 pound spinner this I week get, i get in a lot of trouble for the light tackle too because here we fish a lot of structure and if you got uh you get big white sea bass or uh big yellow tails they'll take you in the structure if you don't have the tackle to get them out then you're done yeah I did, I've uh, never done Florida, I've done Louisiana though, that was pretty fun. Yeah, it's all fun. We did that uh, chasing the shrimp boats for the, the tuna. Uh-huh. The big yellow fin and the little black fins. Yeah. That was a kick in the ass actually. In, in we Kilo. so many fish, we were all cramped up by the end of the day, couldn't even move. Yeah, and the water's just dirty enough, I can't see anything in it. Yeah, you look for the, the color color changes yeah look for a little darker spot yeah so the water there's uh warmed up good by now huh yeah it's um just just pushing 80 now and and crystal clear crystal clear we're still a little cool we got the big bluefin down south that's about that and we got white sea bass at the island yeah i caught a bluefin 30 years ago in florida Really? Yeah, I was. Oh, one of those East Coast ones. Yeah, I was. I was. My, I was fishing for dolphin. I was fishing in a tournament, and hooked him up on a downrigger, and That's fortunately nice. caught him on a great big Pan International. Little bonus bycatch. Yeah, six hundred pounds of bonus. <laughs> Feels right. Here he comes. All the little jack mag. Wrong time. Little mackerel. Wrong kind, but it's a biter. So, so a lot of guys use those for bait, but you don't? No, no. They got a little spine on their butt and I get poked by it every time. Uh-huh, so you don't like them. That's just a little jack mackerel. Here you go. There he 
he goes. Some people eat them. Oh, yeah. For bait, they, they don't swim. They kind of just lay in the current and don't really uh, attract too much attention. So here's the sardine, the species we were fishing for. Good looking bait fish. Will he swim a lot? Except me, I'm gonna stuff chilies with him. <laughs> I have ulterior motives for him. Okay. He's gonna go on ice and join his buddies. And he will be filleted up and put into Anaheim chilies for a little seafood sort swarfay. Okay. Nice, huh? Yeah. Wow, fresh on ice, nice and cold. Keep them from getting mushy. Keep them hard. And then, hard. so on the... Like um, a blackfin, you know, you leave it on the deck for 20 minutes and it turns into a wad of mush, right? Exactly. <laughs> so so how, how are you going to cook those? I'm going to fillet them and uh, use them as stuffing inside of chilies. Green, the big green the hot chilies. The big green chilies. You stuff that full of those guys. Yeah, imitation crab, shrimp, and sardine. Okay. Mix it with onions and cilantro with some cream cheese and stuff inside the chili and roast it on the barbecue. That man is a real fisherman. He knows what to do with his fish. Bam! This guy out here on the end of the dock is fishing for sharks. Looking for Makos. Yeah, wind in a rig and watch how he slides. I don't know how they do it in Florida. I don't know if you can put you, uh, throw out an anchor weight. Oh, it's a lizard fish. Oh, no. That's minus it, 10 points catching it, a lizard fish. It's gone. He's, oh no, he's there. He's a lizard fish, man. This is the, this is minus 10 points if you're keeping track. Hey, not the second one, not the third one I've seen it this year. But once you come that, there's a lizard fish. fish. He does have some yellows and purples on him. Yeah. And some little teeth that shred things up. He kind of looks like a lizard. He looks like a lizard. Lizard fish. That's a lizard fish. I got a fish in Florida. I don't know the real name of it. I call him the lizard fish. They're usually yeah. about 12 to 14 inches long. Yeah, they're pretty aggressive for little guys. When we drift for halibut, they sit and they just chew on the sardines. And they uh, just do nothing but scratch them up and bloody them up. Another smelt coming in. He's catching bait like crazy. Now, where's the shark? Not yet. Not yet. Waiting for it. We're looking for a shark out here. He's supposed to be hairy, huh? He, called, he calls that a queen fish, and you call it a herring. Herring. I say herring. It's another nice bait, though. Oh, yeah. It's a nice bait fish. It's a grande. Coming up. Is right. Another sardine. Another sardine to go into the pepper mix. <laughs> oh, and he got him up here just in time. It's amazing how easily they come off. Yeah, look at these number 14s. I use these guys on pinfish all the time. All right, one of the things you see a lot. This is a conventional reel on a pretty stout rod. We've got a five ounces of weight, little metal leader, and a pretty good size hook, probably a number four hook. Hopefully, these guys catch something. If you like what you've seen, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button. Now, what have you guys caught? What'd you catch? A little silver guy with a line about 10 inches long or so? Oh, probably a jack smelt. Did you keep him? Well, <laughs> we did. So we did. We, uh, we tried to hook him up with bait fish, but we had a little malfunction with the line and he got wet. Okay. <laughs> he's, he's running around with a hot topic piercing. All right. You know, he's one, he's one of those um, new age a fish down there with piercings and stuff. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 We're getting some nibbles. We found some school. Well, like a school of them, but. Weird. I can't actually. I'm having a lot of trouble with 
so. So I have the guy in like the thing of the bottom. Yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll give it a yank. So, so these guys down there, rather than giving it a yank when it's going like that, they just reel it in because when you yank it, you rip the hook out of its mouth. Oh, really? God. Yep. So, so just try reeling it kind of gently. They're not, they're being really gentle with those fish. Okay, I'll try that. Yeah. I'll take all the advice I can get. Now, it's not advice because I don't know. <laughs> I just, I only know what I saw out there. Okay. See, they're everywhere. We can see the schools in the water. Yeah, you see yeah. the school come by. Yeah. The guy that's catching the most down there has a size 14 sabiki, so it's okay. really that's little. Really small. You had 12s, right? Yeah, I got 12s, I think. Yeah. He said they'll stay on 12s better than the 14s, but you get less bites. Hmm. But if you're getting bites, you're going to get them. I wouldn't call them bites. They're like nibbling. Well, I saw the rod shaking there. Yeah. But yeah, you can see the brown, the dark spot come through and it's a school of fish. All right. Well, good luck, guys. Thank you. Thanks for being on the show. So, Braden here, he's from Colorado, down here on vacation. Oh, dude. <laughs> yeah. He, uh, he's fishing a sabiki. It looks like it's tipped with a little bit of squid. What size weight are you using on the bottom of it? Three. Uh, three, three ounces? Okay, so with that big squid, you're hoping to get a halibut or something down there? Yeah. Yeah. The guys in the night caught a big old uh, ray on that big old piece of squid. Yeah. That was fishing right here by us. We caught a back rock in here. A guy out on the out on the end, he's fishing for uh, thresher sharks. Oh, okay. He's got live mackerel going out for bait. He caught one yesterday. It was only about a three footer. Yeah. You know, the body's three foot and the tail's four feet. You know, so it's a, they call it a six foot fish, but it's really only three feet long. Yeah, at least he's got one though. Yeah, we're just trying to wing it. We're, we're mainly freshwater fish. Fish for bass and catfish and trout. But being out here is fun. So how long are you down for, Brady? Oh, I'm actually, this is our last day. Oh, really? Yeah, we've been here for, I think, seven days. Did you fish every day? Oh, um, just about. <laughs> okay. Yeah. yeah. The other day we caught mine. We cooked it right here. Yeah. Little catch, clean, and cook right here on the pier. Yeah. Perfect. Not the catch for the surface, though. Cousin Jim here, leaving the Huntington Beach Pier. We've got a surf contest going on over here. We have a pile of fishermen out on the end, catching a lot of bait fish. I didn't see anything big come in, but they're hoping for some sharks and for some halibuts and for some big croakers. If you've enjoyed this show, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, Leave a comment down below. I was looking for Pamela Anderson out here from Baywatch, but I couldn't find her. Down below, got a little volleyball.